Today, we're going to set up WooCommerce for direct one-click checkout. So we're basically going to replace the Add to Cart button with a Buy It Now button like I've done here, or you can replace that text with any text you want. And when the user clicks that, it'll send them straight to the checkout. So I'm going to show you how to do this using some custom PHP, which I'm going to share in the description. I'll also show you a couple of free plugins which can do similar effects as well. So those are also a good way of doing things. I'll also cover some other tweaks like removing this add to cart message from WooCommerce. And I'm also going to cover how to customize the menu to add and remove cart features from there as well. So I'm Alex from Ideaspot. If all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. Okay, first thing we'll do is we'll head to WooCommerce under settings here, then under products, we want to redirect to the cart page after successful addition. So click that one and then click save. Now the effect that this will have is when someone goes to your shop and adds something to the cart, it will take them straight to the cart page after they add to cart. But we want to speed this up even more and just skip the cart process altogether and go straight to the checkout. So I'll show you how to do that now. So we're just going to add some custom code to our site. Now you can do this through a plugin called Code Snippets. That's a really popular and useful plugin. And the other way is if you're using a child theme, you can add the code straight to your functions PHP. I'll talk about that later on the video, but let's start with using this plugin for a start. So just go ahead and search for Code Snippets, install and activate that one. I've already done that. Once you've done that, you'll have snippets down there. I'm going to add a new snippet. So I'm going to call this snippet direct checkout and customize add to cart. And the PHP we're using looks like this. So I'm gonna share this in the description, like I said earlier in the video. So you can just copy and paste this from that link in the description, but this will just direct us from the cart straight to the checkout. So I'm gonna go ahead and then run this um, just on the front end of the site. It only needs to run on the front end, not the back end here. And save changes and activate. So the effect that will have is when we add something to the cart, it will actually direct us straight through to the checkout, which we've done here. Now, there are still a couple of things I don't exactly like. First one is this alert t-shirt has been added to your cart. We can actually remove this whole message here. The other thing I want to customize is obviously the button rather than add to cart, we could change it to something like purchase or buy it now. So I'll show you how to do that right now. We just have to add a little bit more code to that snippet. So back in code snippets, I'm going to paste in some more PHP here. So the first part customizes the add to cart text. And the important part here is buy it now. So I'm changing it to buy it now, but you can put whatever you want between those two apostrophes and it will change the text to match what you've got in there. And the second part here, remove the has been added to your cart message at the checkout. So that just changes return to false. So that one doesn't actually display in the checkout anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and just save that one. And now back in our shop, we can see that we've got a buy it now button rather than an add to cart button. And when we click buy it now, it will take us straight through to the checkout. And it doesn't have that has been added to your cart message anymore. So really streamline the whole process and um, a much more uh, simple and quick user experience. One other thing you may like to do is your top menu might involve the cart. For example, up here, I've got a cart link here. I've also got a mini cart button. It'll depend on your theme and how you've got your menu set up, but I'll show you how to customize this a little bit more too. So let's go to the customizer here. So here in our customizer, we're going to customize this menu. So we're going to head to menus. Now this will depend a little bit depending on what theme and what setup you've got on your site. But in this case, the primary menu is this store menu here, which has our home shop about contact and account. An account has the, the cart set up there as a sub menu. So we can actually add and remove things. So I could add, say, the checkout to that menu as well. And let's just drag it so it's aligned with the cart there and hit publish. And now we can see that we will actually have the uh, cart and checkout in our menu there now. Now we've also got this mini cart icon here. So this comes with the cadence theme, but other themes have quite similar icons. If we wanted to remove that mini cart, we could actually just remove it from the menu there. So that would uh, remove it from our top bar. But honestly, I actually kind of did like having that uh, mini cart there. So I might put that back in. So that was under... Um, cart there I could drag that pop it back pop that back into the menu and there we go I've got it back and hit publish in cadence theme for WooCommerce you, you click that and you get the um, the cart set up here so uh, the only thing I didn't really like is just having that uh, view cart and checkout the only thing I really need is the checkout button so we could just hide that view cart button if we wanted to clean that up a little bit more so I'll show you how to do that so back in our customizer 
in the main menu, there's additional CSS. We can just hide the button with some CSS. So um, this is just to hide the mini cart, uh, cart button. So I'm going to publish that. Now, when we go to our store and click that mini cart, we can see that we've just got that checkout button there. So I think this is a bit nicer, um, quite streamlined, easy for people to see. They're very used to having a cart on top of most stores in the top menu there. So we can go to the checkout. So lots of ways you can do this, have a play around and see what you prefer, what suits your store. Now, as I said earlier, if you're using a child theme, you can put this code into your child theme rather than using the code snippet. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's just cut this out here and save it. And I'll add this to the functions PHP rather than doing it through code snippets. So that will be under appearance and theme editor. Then that's just a matter of going to your functions PHP there and putting that code in here and then updating the file. Back on our shop, we can see exactly the same functionality, same effect. Click on buy it now, takes us straight through the checkout. Same effect that we had before, no um, added to cart message either. So exactly the same thing, but doesn't involve any plugins. So if you're not using a child theme yet for Cadence theme, you can head over to the Cadence child themes and get an example child theme here. And that's all I've done for this example is, is just use that and pasted the code into the functions PHP. If you're using Astra, they've got a child theme generator. Again, I'll link this in the description. And for other themes, you can actually generate themes at childthemegenerator.com. Um, you just have to plug in the details there and upload that to your themes in WordPress. So in the case of Cadence over under appearance and themes, I've got my Cadence child theme here. Again, using code snippets is fine as well. You, some people really love using a child theme. Some people love using code snippets. I don't have a strong preference either way. So whatever works for you is cool. One thing I'll mention if you've never used a child theme before is before you load the theme, make sure you export your theme customization. So go ahead and export and that will download the um, data from your customizer. And that way, after you load up your child theme, you can just re-import any customizations you've made. It'll save you some time. Uh, it'll get everything back to how it was on the theme you were using. So just bear that in mind if you've never used one before. Now, besides code snippets and using a child theme, there are plugins that will do similar functions for you. So direct checkout for WooCommerce, uh, that's a free plugin. You can go ahead and just search for direct checkout for WooCommerce, install, activate that one. It has a lot of the same features that we did here. So if what we covered in this tutorial was a little bit too complicated for you, you may just want to try this one out. It might do what you need, but I prefer to avoid extra plugins whenever possible. So um, I think what I did earlier is a better solution, but some of you might want to try this. The other one, which is really cool, is one called Funnel Builder by Cart Flows. Now this is even more advanced. It gives you lots of abilities to add custom sales pages, landing pages, custom checkout flows for WooCommerce. I've actually used cart flows on a previous tutorial to sell online courses using LearnDash. I'll put that video up here. And also WooCommerce really needs fast hosting. So a great option for fast WooCommerce hosting is Cloudways. I'll pop that video up here as well if you're interested in checking that one. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.